My name is Venezia, I'm from Chile, and you're watching Fun for Louis. Well, me and Damien didn't sleep lots last night, um, and we're now up, actually in the morning, for the first time, in like a week, to uh, help Angela and Gundo move some gym equipment over to Mossman. Right, this is the gym equipment we need to shift. It's like the most inconvenient shape and weight. It doesn't fit in the car. So we're just making some phone calls to see if we can rent a trailer. Let's roll. Parking with a trailer isn't that easy. <laughs> we uh, we just took up three parking spaces. We've stopped for a late breakfast with Bridget. Hey Bridget. Hello. Um, I've got a little uh, healthy yogurty thing. We actually unloaded at the wrong spot, so we just need to drive down the road. <laughs> well, we dropped the gym equipment off, and uh, we've called in um, Gundo's workshop, Mario's dad, and he's uh, he's got all this amazing Aboriginal art and stuff here. Where is he? He builds all these picture frames. Let's go and find him. Gundo! Gundo! Hello! From where from? Ken. Got a little oh, ginger and lemon tea. Mm. So what, um, what date did you leave Chile? What year? In 97. Year 87. 87? Yeah. Uh, and it was still under dictatorship then? Yeah, the, I, I had been uh, 10 years under the dictatorship. And what Ten was years. the... Were you granted asylum in Australia? Is that what it was? Mm, um, or was it like political? Was it there? What was the... The political refugee. Political refugee? Yeah. Wow. The Australian government was worry about the human rights situation in Chile during yeah. you know, the dictatorship. So you spoke to the government here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I was involved here in Australia, traveling different states as well. Making people aware? Yeah, yeah you know, to, to, to explain what, why we need to change the situation, the political situation in Chile. Because we want to stop the violence, the people there, disappear people. Uh, do we have a lot of questions about where is so many people. people who was taken by the detector police? Just were they just assassinated? Yeah. yeah. I have one friend in, in Melbourne. He's still suffering, you know, the father. They don't know where is the father. They, anybody want to know, you know, they know they killed him, but you want to know where is they, the body, because you need to, have to do, yeah. to say bye yeah. uh, to him. I think we're so sheltered, for me anyway, growing up in England and having no mm. violence on my doorstep, you know, a fairly good government doesn't seem corrupt, it seems mm. to treat people well, and I just 
so yeah. obli- so oblivious that as I was growing up, this was happening in Chile. Well, that was amazing. It was so good chatting to Gundo. He's had oh, he's no. got the craziest story. Um, it was amazing hearing about Chile and everything that's happened there and stuff like that. So it uh, makes you think a lot. He's so happy. Yeah. All the time. I can't believe through everything he's been through, and he's just like the happiest guy. And he gave me this present. What is this called? Do you know? Oh, a it's bombora. Bombora. It's the Aboriginal, like you spin it around and it makes a noise and stuff. I'm going to treasure it. I don't know if I can wear it as a necklace all the time, though. It's quite big. <laughs> We're in Port Douglas and we've stopped off for some food, we're taking a little stroll. It's nice, the weather is actually beautiful. Oh, has anyone seen these before? I think they're an Aussie invention because they're made for pies, for portable, portable sources for pies. So yeah. Use this bush passion fruit and we're just trying to get it down. Oh yeah. How's that? Look at this dog just chilling in the back of that van. Yeah. <laughs> A young boy witness to the abusive environment stood quietly. A tear escaped his glistening eyes as a sense of uselessness and intense sorrow overcame his frail self. What did you think of Mari's creative writing? I didn't know he was that smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was his English homework. Many phenomena. Okay, we've been making sauté pitas all night and Louis is still asleep. And uh, we decided we'd make a little fun for Louis message out of the dough. We fry it up then. So here's what we got. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. <laughs> Am I that fat? <laughs> Damo, are you sure this is a road? I, I doesn't seem like a road. <laughs> right, we've just gone down the road from Mario's house and we're going to uh, have a little campfire on the beach again. I'm just collecting some firewood. Perfect firewood. Broken tree branches. We just had the most magical evening for hours, just chilling on the beach, having a little fire. Couldn't really uh, show you guys much because it's pitch black, but we were stargazing, we saw a shooting star. We, uh, I can't really put it into words, but trust me, we had a sick night. We're back and it's time for bed. Catch you tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.